pressure. Okay, and another thing you cover too is like I guess it falls under your areas of expertise is about the body composition. Mm-hmm. Interesting to know what's been your work towards on that. Mm, that that's a really you know that that's an interesting thing um and and there's a lot that goes into that you know there's been a lot of talk for instance lately about a number that's commonly used to measure people in, in terms of you know it's sort of a rough estimate of of kind of body fatness um and it's called the body mass index or bmi which mm-hmm. is weight factored by height Mm-hmm. Now, you know, you take somebody with a desk job like me, um, although, you know, if you blew me up to an NFL size person um, and you took an NFL actual player who's, you know, doing all that training and everything, uh, the same BMI is going to be really different in terms of the actual body composition how much muscle does somebody have versus how much fat tissue they have versus you know how much you know bone um you know bone varies in terms of how much calcium it has in it how hard the bones are Mm -hmm. um so there's a lot of different um differences in in the body composition of an individual person if you say you know how much fat, how much muscle, all of this kind of thing. So, and it varies between men and women. It varies by age. Your average older person has a higher fat content in their body than than a younger person does, possibly because we spend so much of our time at desk jobs, for instance. Um, And so, you know, there, and just you know a simple measurement of like weight index to height hides a lot of individual variation yeah because i know i remember because of course i'm a participant in the program and i had to get my measurements and everything that's right signed up with the <laughs> state. i'm curious to know the results of the study what that reveals about that as well yeah well you know we're probably going to have a a number of ancillary studies as time goes on these are add-on studies that you know are funded by um uh, additional grant money we we've just started one recently um on um, nutrition nutrition for precision health we call it where we're um recruiting people who are in all of us and it's it's looking at how the body actually processes different types of food and what kinds of changes happen in the body when people eat different types of food, different types of diets, for instance. You know, there's vegetarian diets, there's, uh, you know, low carb diets probably there are you know different people and say you know the ideal diet for me might actually be different than the ideal diet for you and we just don't really know that yeah i know it's too like a lot of times this is me speaking like whenever i eat meat i feel so heavy so like it's and it's different like with chicken it's different whether you meet red meat, it's like it's especially anybody that's like steak lovers. If you eat steak, whoo, steak for some reason, it just just it doesn't lingers. get on with you, huh? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Wherever you eat like fruits and vegetables, you you feel a different way. And I right. always tell you, tell you can feel it whether you're walking or whether you eat meat or like us down here in the south when you eat, eat that Sunday dinner, it's like it's time to lay down. <laughs> Yeah, right. <laughs> that, and that sweet tea. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and that sweet tea. You know, we didn't have that, too much of that sweet tea, but we got to have our sweet tea down in the South. So, Do you know what's happening in Birmingham? Download the What's Happening Birmingham app today on Android, iPhone, and iPad for free. Get info on everything you need to know about local news, events, businesses, restaurants, and more. Visit our website, what's happening com, or follow us on social media at Happening Beeham for more information. Download the What's Happening Birmingham app today, your source for everything Birmingham.